Hi, I'm saying Nuna. I got so many questions that what kind of device I use when I perform on the piano. Is it laptop or iPad or a tablet? It is iPad. <laughs> I'm using this for my music and with an app called Fourscore. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how I use that app. But this is not a tutorial video like how to use that app for score. So if you are looking for some information, then this is not the right one. But you still can't watch it because you're going to see how I use this. So you will get some ideas. And if you're still not interested, but maybe you still can watch. So you just enjoy this funny Korean English accent. Let's begin. So let me have a question. When you have a gig, performance, or even if you are home, how do you store or carry your sheet music? Do you take all the like 50 pounds piano books, score, and put them into your suitcase and you bring that to your gig? Or you just take simply iPad like me? <laughs> How I put the music books to here iPad and open into that Fourscore app. Let's begin. First, this is the way how I get the music. So let's make a scenario here. I like to make a scenario. So we are doing live stream and someone requested song, but I don't know that. Mm -mm. Let's say that was Yesterday by the Beatles and I don't know that. So what I do normally is Go to Safari and search here Yesterday Beatles PDF. Then you will see this. Now I'm going to show you how I get the music using this website, which is my favorite website, sheetmusicfree.com. And then click. Then you will see music first, but don't click that. It looks like you should click it, right? But don't. So you scroll down, scroll down, but not very bottom. So it's about like a middle part. You gotta be careful. So go to read more here and then you will see music. Don't click it yet because it's not a PDF. And then scroll down again, then you will see this PayPal donate and free download. PayPal donate, super duper important because they're really professional. Their works are really accurate. Not 100%, but I would say like a 95%. They're really nice. And you get the music free. Donate them. Anyway, after you donate it, it's up to you actually. It's your discretion. Donate it or not. So go to free download, click it, and now this is PDF page. So from here, what I do is top right here, you will see an arrow in the box. Click it. And top here, you will see some apps available to open that file. Then here, copy to Fourscore. Sometimes if it doesn't come out here, then you go to more. It has it. So a little bit wait and boom, we are in the Fourscore app and I already got the music yesterday, total three pages. Just tap it simply, I don't have to swipe it, which I love this about this app. So that's the way I get the music from the websites using the Safari from my iPad. What about if I have lots of PDF of music and I want to move them into this app, then how can we do it? Firstly, I don't have to even show you, you know, the screenshot thingy. No, no, it's super duper easy. Just connect this guy to your computer and open that iTunes, then you will see that app. Once you click that app, it will show you the all the apps what you have in your iPad. Then just you see that four score, then drag all your PDF, what you want to bring into this iPad, drag it and bring that into the four score in the iTunes and release right above that app four score. Then it will take some time, like a, it depends on how many gigabytes you have there, but it's less than one hour <laughs> or half an hour or five minutes. It depends on. So just release it. Done. It will be here. <laughs> That's how I got my music books from my computer to my iPad and I use like a real book, you know. And what about that if you have a real paper book like this, absolutely you can do it. Just scan them, use your scanner and convert to 
PDF. It has to be PDF because I don't know they updated or not, but they didn't take JPG. So it has to be converted to from JPG to PDF. I'm not going to go through how to convert it. You can you know, just search for that on YouTube. You will get it, how to convert from JPG to PDF. It's super easy. Anyway, you need a PDF, so, so scan all the books from the beginning to the end and just do the same way, use the iTunes. But what if you don't have a scanner like me? I don't have a scanner. So what I normally do is just take picture, use my iPhone or iPad. When I was doing musical show, they gave me like this thick piano score. And I asked them, do you have PDF so I can put my iPad? But they said, no, we don't have PDF. Okay. And I don't have scanner. So what I did was take all the picture, the single page. So if the book is like this thick, then I usually use my phone instead of iPad because this guy is more heavy. Maybe I could shake it and I get tired easily, but it, this is easier, right? And also better resolution. That's the most important reason. So I take picture like this. And after I take picture and I airdrop it from my phone to iPad, go to select, click, 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 and press this button and press airdrop. Then you'll see that iPad and then You'll see that here. Accept. Boom. Now they are in my iPad. See? So I got I'm always chasing rainbows. I'm glad there is you. And I'm hip. And I'm hip. This song has two pages. So total four pages at this moment. And let's open these into that four score here. Once you open that four score app and go to here, that top right, it looks like a bag, luggage, or purse, whatever. Go down the middle part, add scores. There's a dark room. I don't know why they call it dark room. Maybe because of like a photo thing. So anyway, go to dark room and you also see the camera icon and click it. And then you see the top two different things. One is camera and one is for album. So this is the way directly you can take photo, you know, like this. But again, if it's like a single page, I would do with this, but normally I don't. I use my phone, better resolution, and go to here, album. You just click them, what I just got from my phone. And then you click the save, and then let's go Sangha test, and save. Then these three songs in one group as Sangha test, like this. I'm always chasing rainbow, click. I'm glad there is you, click. I'm hip, click, next page, and no more. That's a Sangha test. So if I put like, a, I was doing chorus line, if I go there, I took all the photos like this, and click, 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 from the first page to the end like this. Super. So my favorite feature of this app is actually, I can create the set list. So when you go to set list here, then, then you will see manual and title. So when you go to manual, it's literally you can adjust the order. So title is title, which means you, you can find that set list in alphabetical order. But I personally like manual. So now I'm going to show you how I make this set list. So first click this three lines, whatever you call, and then go to plus and then name the set list. I'm going to go Sangha test set create. Then there's nothing. All right, I'm gonna bring some music into this set. So go to this music, and then we got the yesterday sheet music, and then click that arrow, and then you will see bottom part. The Sangha test set over there. You just click it and check. Now it's in the set list. And get out, and I'm gonna put the Sangha test, which was the three songs. I'm gonna put that too. So click that arrow and go to bottom, and Sangha test set, click, check. All right, now let's go to that set list again. Now we are at Sangha test set, the very bottom, and I want to put this as a top. So hold that and go up. Go, go, go. Sometimes not. You have to release it and go again. And hold like this long. All right, there you go. 
So I put that Senga test set as very top part. And then once you click it, you will see that two items. So one is Senga test, which was three songs ago. So I'm always chasing rainbows. I'm glad there is you and I'm hip. And yesterday. So you like this. If you keep adding more songs into that set list, it's going to be just continuous. You don't have to go out to other set list or search for the song. It's just in one set list. My second favorite feature of this app is annotation. Just hold this screen for a while, like one or two seconds. Two? Yep, it's just very, just some time. Just hold that. And then you will see that bunch of thingy over there, which is, you know, just can literally you can draw it. Ooh. <laughs> or undo it or you can do I go like kind of white what I do is make that clear like when we cut that part and then done then I don't have to worry anything about it and start the music here like that oh nice 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 feature or you can erase them or sometimes if you're bored and draw something on here so normally what I do is um, you know I have to change the key and especially for the um, musical like this we have lots of cuts and we have some lines but I'm still playing but I also have to read that their lines but I cannot read all the lines right so I just mark the simple the words I can hear clearly and sometimes it's easier to read chords instead of the notation so I just write down the chords so simply you can use it as a pen tool you also can change the size of that pen tool and color saturation transparency you will get it they also have metronome feature Also, they have pitch. And they have a tuner. I have 2,242 items that's not only for single music you know I have also many many books such as real book one two three four and other you know many books here and not only for music book I also have PDF from the FAA you know I need to read far aim is also here <laughs> and a bunch of songs over there you can even go in you know, the forever and over and still yeah. They have so many different features here, but these are I mainly use. So I'm gonna show you how I turn the page really quick. Use this page turner pedal. If you don't know what this is, please go ahead and watch this video. I explained it. So you simply you turn it on and and press this pedal. Turn the page like this. Ha! Ah, right this way come back once this guy's bluetooth is connected into my ipad they work together it's a good world isn't it this app for score isn't free let's see how much it's 15 dollars 14.99 i don't remember it's a yearly subscription you need to pay but you know, it's not a big deal. Absolutely worth it. I've been using this app since 2012 and I had no problem, especially during my musical show. For two hours and a half, three hours show, had no problem with this app. But just in case, I always have a real paper book right next to piano, just in case. But really had no problem. Oh, by the way, I'm not working there or I... I don't get any commission from this just I'm this is my honest my review and just letting you know because so many people ask me what are you using you know so this is a good information to share and why not right why oh why not <laughs>
If you have any questions about using this iPad or the app for score, then please do not leave any questions in the comment section. I'm just kidding. <laughs> And why not? Of course you can do it. Just do not ask me. I'm done here. In this video, I'm done. I'm just kidding again. <laughs> I, I, I'm getting crazy again. All right, of course, please leave some comments below about what you think or if you're using this app for score, maybe you can share something what you like, some other people who just start to use this app and then I could learn. Please go ahead. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> After... <laughs> Good, good. Perfect moment. Perfect moment. Why not? Right?